I just want to talk a little bit about the brass I got. Um, got some of the Winchester Super, the WW Super stamp, some of the uh, S and B, and then uh, Remington UMC brass. I'm just gonna get a weight comparison, see what it looks like. This is the Winchester Super here. 177 with a seven. Federal 164 with a six. Sorry, that was the S and B. Just the Federal or the Remington. 172 with a nine. So I'll probably go through and sort the bag, you know, according to weight, and uh, possibly do a volume check when I get. Get a little more detailed in the reloading. Also, it came with a bunch of stripper clips in the bag. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, but some of them wouldn't collapse and let the shell go in. So I realized there was a bunch of walnut media or something in there. So I had to uh, take them apart and uh, put them back together and dump out the crap. So working pretty good. It's pretty neat to have a few of those. The uh, shell holder for the, the leak kit I got wasn't working with the uh, Seller and Bel Bellier or whatever S&B but uh, The number two and the Winchester goes in pretty good. Remington goes in good. But the uh, seller stops right there. I think it's the inside edge of the uh, cutout where the extractor goes. But on the RCBS, it works fine. 308 30 out six and all the goodies there so number number three i guess yeah so that's a little weird but we'll see how everything runs i think i'm gonna take it tomorrow and uh test fire some of the ammo that i got with it um it's some old uh inner arms I've got the other boxes already open so I'm going to leave this one closed I think that's pretty neat but I got some of that going with me tomorrow I'm just going to test fire it see what I can do with the iron tights but I thought that was neat got some stripper clips and got some ready for loads um, alright guys I'm just checking in